Hi everybody, it's Kim from Vintage Rose Creations by Kim. I'm coming to you today with a how-to video, a DIY on some altered liquor bottles. Um, I did a Jägermeister bottle and a Crown Royale bottle, and I'm going to show those both to you. First here is the Jägermeister bottle. As you can see, I decoupage a napkin onto the front with these beautiful butterflies. Uh, with Mod Podge and I added all kinds of snippets of lace, resin roses in different colors, um, some more lace. I've got just Mod Podge to make it look kind of frosted on the glass. Another tiny little butterfly here. Some more frosted glass and then up here, I did not put a cork or anything, a finial or anything like that. I did hot glue some twine all the way around a bunch of times. Um, I used two handmade flowers, uh, store-bought bling, store-bought stamens, uh, gifted um, little bling there, and kissing booth ticket. I thought that was super cute. Lots of ribbon. This is um, gingham, green and white. I apologize for the sniffling. I've got a summer cold. So I'll just give you a close-up. I use double-sided paper. I want to say that's Prima paper and roll those up with a barbecue skewer. So that is the first one. And the second one is purple. And the thing that's different about this one, right off the bat, I don't know if you can spot it, I added um, paint on the bottom of this, two different colors, like a bisque and a lavender, and left this off, I left the, the cork and everything off for a long time until it dried on the inside. So it kind of gave it that uh, imitation crackle look from the inside. I love that. Um, so again, I did Maj Podge, uh, and when it was wet, I sprinkled in some Finnevere glitter, some more little tiny white resin roses, added some silver tassels with the resin on here. You can see a little bit of the crackling here too, and even a dark paint. These are ribbon roses that I made as well, paper roses I should say that I hand rolled. Let's see. Gingham ribbon, fabric strips, uh, some snippet lace. Here's another hand rolled flower. And then this was um, in my stash. I hot glued this onto the bottle. I love this. This reminds me of the sash of a, a wedding dress and let's see I'll give you a bird's eye view from the top that was store-bought from Michaels this piece right there it has a screw in the bottom and I wasn't able to cut the screw off so you can't actually even see it so it worked out really well and buttons from my stash beads from my stash this is a chandelier hanging um, appliance that was from my stash I love that I'm running out of that so again thank you so much for joining me today for this how-to DIY video for altered liquor bottles and I hope you will check out my 350 subby giveaway challenge and I will talk to you again soon bye bye